But let's see if ChatGPT can create Sonic the Hedgehog from scratch without me having to write a single line of code. Let's start off by generating all of the art by using Adobe Firefly. And the first on the list is the man himself, Sonic. First couple of generations were pretty strange, but eventually I found this one and it was absolutely perfect. Now for the motobug, we started off pretty badly. Eventually I kind of got something I wanted, but I had like a weird thing on his lips. So I just used Photoshop to clean it up. Very similar thing happened to the chopper. Really weird, realistic ones at the start. But eventually I stumbled across this pretty simple one and decided to go with it. Now for the buzz bomber, I was not disappointed. Like this one was perfect. A lot of the crab meat ones were super weird, but eventually I got some good ones. I ended up choosing this. Generating a good sprite for the floor was like almost impossible. So I had to just choose this one and crop out the good part. This is what I got for the ring. I mean, that's the most simple thing in the world. All right, and this is all the boring stuff. We got the sky, the weird mountains in the background or whatever you call those. Palm tree, water, and last but not least, the spikes. And after I was done generating all the sprites, I used this website to make some running animations for Sonic, but we can't really just use the video of him running in the game so i had to cut out like nine separate images and then put it into a sprite sheet and now it was time to actually start making the game from scratch in unity all right so when starting the game the first thing i did was make a very simple scene where we could like test out different mechanics and whatnot i gave sonic a box collider and a rigid body just to give him some sort of physics did the same thing for the ground Give it a nice collider and boom, Sonic lands on there with no issues. But we cannot move Sonic around, which is pretty crucial for the Sonic Hedgehog game. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write me a movement script for Sonic. Write a movement script for Sonic. You know what? This looks pretty solid. Copy it. We can paste this in. Let's see if it works. Uh oh. Uh oh. This isn't good. Um, what is this? This doesn't look like Sonic, does it? All right, so ChatGPT is awesome for speeding up parts of this project, but there are moments where I hit a wall and realize I don't just need the code. I need to actually understand the process behind it to make it work. That's where today's sponsor Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes taught by industry experts in game design, animation, productivity, and more. It's perfect for anyone tackling creative projects like this one, and looking to level up their skills. For example, instead of completely relying on ChatGPT to generate things like physics-based movement scripts, I could brush up on foundational concepts like vector math and how forces work in games, so I'd know exactly where ChatGPT might be going wrong. Like right now, ChatGPT is trying to make a movement script, and let's just say it's not going well. If I had a better understanding of how character controllers work, fixing this would be so much easier. Skillshare makes it possible to gain that deeper understanding, and it's actually fun to learn along the way. And it's not just for game development. Whether you're into animation, entrepreneurship, or even storytelling, Skillshare has classes for basically every creative person or side hustle. The first 500 people to join Skillshare using my link in the description will receive one month of Skillshare premium for free. So if you're like me and want to keep learning while tackling your creative projects, now is the time to start exploring. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. In an attempt to fix the character controller, I looked back at my conversation with ChatGPT to see if I missed anything. Attempt number two. Oh, okay. Wait, it kind of worked. Hold up. Yo, how, why isn't this working? I'm so confused. I think it's trying to do too much, to be honest. Like, it's writing way too much code. So I told it to write a simpler script. Oh, there we go. That's it. Why are we jumping that high? Can somebody tell me why we're jumping this high? What is this? <laughs> you know what? Let me tell ChatGPT to make it less floaty. Let's copy this. Paste this. Let's give her a go. Hopefully it doesn't break. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's move on to the next thing. I need to create a new animation for Sonic. I have all the animations ready for him, but I need to just set that up real quick. Bro, I have no idea what I'm doing. This doesn't look too good. I continued to try to put together the animations by myself, which was a mistake to say the least. Oh man, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, well, I'm gonna do some mining off camera. And there we go. Now that we have um, the entire scene ready with Sonic and the ball and the animations and the collisions. It is time to add the rings. So let's drag in the ring. Oh my, that is big. Let's turn that down a little bit. Just like that. And now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make the script for the ring. Okay, gave us the ring script. Let's paste it in. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's spinning wrong, but hey, we can collect it. Here's what the uh, fixed rotation looks like. You know, with all the rings and stuff, we need to make it so that the camera actually follows Sonic around and we don't can just go off the screen like that. All right, here's the script. 
pretty short actually. I don't know. All right, this should work though. Let's paste it in. Very nice. Very nice. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Uh, only thing is Sonic is like blurry, but that's an easy fix. Okay, should be good now. I just had to turn interpolate on. Yep. So smooth. Look at that. Right, so now that they have all of this. The next thing we're gonna work on is the enemies. And the first enemy we're going to do is the Moto Bug. Okay. Now the Moto Bug is set up. Uh, I think it should work. Hopefully it works. It might work. It might not work. Where's the bug at? Oh my God! Why is he so big? Okay, but he does move back and forth. That's good. Let's see if I can kill him. Hey, nice. All right, now we gotta see if we can die. So if we just run into him normally, we should die. Oh, there we. Oh, there we go. We got the flash animation, and then, and then we respawn if we. Die. Yes, sir, dude. At this point, I realized that all the sprites I made earlier were pretty trash. So I decided to remake most of them with ChatGPT, and here's how that turned out. All right, so these are all the new sprites I made. I'll throw these all into the game and just, you know switch it up. Then the unexpected happened. Yo, what is happening? What? What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, all the environment was like a part of my camera. Okay, now that that's fixed, it's time to work on the spikes. Here's the script for the spike. Very, very simple. Paste. Drag the spikes into the game. Decrease the size on that to about right there. Okay, boom. Oh, we take damage. Now we should die. Yay! Okay, so now that we have the spikes done, it's time to work on crab meat. This guy right here. All right, so I'm gonna drag in crab meat. Give a little box glider. Let's copy the script. Paste. You also gotta get a projectile. So I went with this one. Scale that down a little bit. Come on. Okay, now it should be shooting some bullets. So he was shooting bullets, but it really wasn't working. He's supposed to shoot two projectiles at once out of his claws, and they're supposed to fall down because of gravity. So I got ChatGPT to write a new script. Nice, bro. Nice. Okay, now it's time for the buzz bomber. So I'm just asking ChatGPT to write the script. Now this one's actually probably the most complex enemy. Copy this. Hey, Oof, that's a lot of variables. Hey, it's kind of working. The only thing is it's not actually doing damage. I made some adjustments and here is the result. Shoot me. Hey, okay, we take damage. Whoa, Sonic jumps pretty high. All right, now it's time to work on the chopper. So we're gonna go into the game and I've taken out one of the segments of the ground. Well, first let me add him in. And the bridge is like right here. So yeah, they they just come flying up and then uh, if they hit you, boom. There we go, it's all pasted in right here. All right, let's see if it works. <laughs> Bro, that's awful. I mean, it works, but that is so non-smooth, bro. Oh, yeah, sine wave, and that makes sense. Okay, now I know this will work. Let's give her a go, shall we? Okay, okay. A little better. I mean, that is, that's that's fine, yeah. Whoa. Oh, all right, yeah, we got hit. And then we died. Very nice, very nice. And you can't, you can't kill these guys. Oh, and I just killed them. Wait. Okay, now they should be unkillable. Yes. Nice, and we still take damage. Now that I have all the mechanics and whatnot, I'm gonna design a level that's actually pretty decent and not just this. Okay, here's what the level's looking like. Pretty good. I'm gonna make a finish line right here. <laughs> you know what, I can make this work. This will be the finish line. I actually just kind of fire, yo. Okay, looks good right there, I think. Give it a collider, just so that we know, like, when we cross this, the player wins. And then we'll do a victory screen. Okay, buddy. I guess I can use this. Okay, now before I play through the entire final level, I need to create some sound effects and the soundtrack for the game using AI. So let's do that. So right now I'm in 11 labs. You can do text to sound effects, so I can just describe the sound. All right, here we go. Generation number one. Oh, yeah. mm. let's go with number one. Now we need the jump sound. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Jump sound done. Death sound. <laughs> what? 
Oh, man. Ich <laughs> Yo, honestly, my favorite one's gonna be number two. All right, now we need the damage sound effect. <laughs> what? It's not a damage sound effect. All right, these should be better. That's probably the best one for taking damage. The original Sonic the Hedgehog, there is a sound effect when you drop your rings that you can hear them all bouncing off the ground and stuff. And it kind of sounds like money hitting the floor. So this one is perfect. All right, so now I'm in Suno where I can create the soundtrack for the game. And I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to describe it for me. Okay, I guess I'll take this, paste it in, and create. Oh wait, I don't think this is instrumental. It's gonna be a straight up just song, bro, with lyrics probably. That's not good. Oh, hold up, wait. <laughs> okay, here we have some instrumentals. Let's see. Good. Yeah, the soundtrack was surprisingly good. But anyways, here's some footage of the final game. Victory of the Star.